void there. There's the screen. We got the screen. Should be good. All right, welcome to the first ever Arabian Horse Times Live Jeopardy Calcutta. I'm your host, Doug Stewart, and I'd like to introduce our three contestants. Rich and rare Rob Bick of RBC Show Horses in Smithfield, South Carolina. Rob and his wife, Carolyn, are forces to be reckoned with in the performance ring. Rob is a Hall of Fame APHA Horseman of the Year. Our next contestant is the always magical Michael Byatt. He's from New Ulm, Texas. He's a legendary halter trainer and 2011 APHA Male Halter Trainer Hall of Fame inductee. Our third contestant is Show Me the Money, Steve Heathcott of Heathcott Arabians in Ocala, Florida. Steve has been a success in the show ring all over the country, and we are very excited to have him joining us tonight. Thank you all for joining us this evening. I'd like to go over a few rules of the game. To answer the question, you must hit your buzz button on your phone. The first person to light up yellow on the board will have the chance to answer once called on. Should you get the answer incorrect, the amount of points that for that question will be deduct deducted from your total. Getting the answer correct adds this amount to your total. There is one random daily double jeopardy question, which will award two times that amount of points for the question. There will be a final jeopardy question, which will require you to write down your bet before the question is asked to your answer. As all of you may know by now, this Jeopardy game is a Calcutta, benefiting the Arabian Horseman's Distress Fund. During this uneasy time, for whichever contestant wins the game, the winning bidder for that contestant will receive 50% of the net proceeds, with the other 50% going to the Horseman's Distress Fund, which happens to be in an amount of $857.50 for the winner of the Calcutta and then also the Arabian Horseman's Distress Fund. If you guys have any questions or no? Nope. Okay. I, I have a comment. Okay, let's have a comment. I am so honored to be on this group with Rob Bick, who I consider the modern day Ray LaCroix, the best all around trainer in the breed and a childhood, uh, well, just a hero of mine, Michael Byatt. So I, I'm just happy to be here. Thanks. Well, Stevie, <laughs> love you. But yes. but I, I don't see anything on my computer except for Google sign in with Chrome. That's <laughs> all that's on my screen. You don't have the blue screen that has the categories and all that? No. Oh, no. You can follow it with your phone. You should be able to. Well, I got buzz. That's all I got. All right, let's go. I don't care. All right. Well, we're going to begin with Michael Byatt choosing a category and a price. All right. Uh, history for 500. History for 500. This well, event was added at the 1966 U.S. Nationals, but only lasted a short while. Michael? Uh, Roadster. <laughs> My, what is Roadster? That was a good guess. Though. That was a good guess. Right, anyone else have a guess? No. I got so I lose $500 for that? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, was answer was, the answer was, what is racing? Racing? Okay. Yeah, two races were added to the national show schedule but every entry had to be entered in at least one performance class in the show. The races were three-fourths of a mile and one mile. Who would have known? Okay, let's move on. So Rob, pick a category. 
I gotta wait for it to catch up. Okay, here we go. So how about pedigrees for 100? The M of promotion, profile, and commentigo. Ooh, he's quick then. Who buzzed in? You did. Uh, Provisia. Yes, correct. Wow. He was quick. He's a hunter. I think he's been, uh, you know, kind of. He's been about. practicing. He, yes, Magic he fingers. has. Okay, Steve, it's your turn. I'll go national champions for two hundred. Okay. The first mayor to win. What is Provisia? <laughs> the, national, the first mayor to win national champion formal driving, formal combination, and park. Uh, Who buzzed in? Well, I've got Michael as okay. Michael, I, I I won the buzz in. Yeah. Uh, um, Scarlet Lace. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Good answer. Yeah. I'm buzzing slow. Yeah, we got to work on your buzzer. Okay, Michael. Uh, history for 200. In 1963, Bosk, along with his Russian bread stallion, both made the 44 day trip via ship from Poland to the United States. Oh, his buddy. His buddy. Rob Beck. Who is Wilki Schlem? <laughs> he was Polish. Oh. <laughs> okay, Steve. Steve's going to get it. Anybody else going to try it? No. Nope. Negative. Uh, the answer is who is Nabor? Well, why did oh, I Damn it. I don't know. Okay. I am in the hole. We got to work on this. All right. I guess it's your turn, Rob. Well, I won the last question, so I should get it again. <laughs> okay. I think that's right. Okay. Uh, he's going to save his eyebrows. History for 100. Okay. This breeder brought in 17 select horses from the Crabbit Stud Farm in the 1920s. Michael wins the bid. Michael. Who is Homer Davenport? Nah. Wrong answer. Anybody else? Who is W.K. Kellogg? Yes, correct. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good. And good for the win. win. Okay, Rob. Let's go. Uh, Pedigrees for 200. Okay. Both sired by Bay Abbey, Bayo Bay and Mikado also shared this same dam. Who is Naganka? Correct. He's quick. How did I not buzz oh, in on that? I hit my buzz as quick as I could. <laughs> okay, Michael. I buzzed in. Uh, you you buzzed in second. National champions for 100. Okay. This stallion won the most championships at the U.S. Nationals in the breeding halter division. Who is D.A. Valentino? Correct. For the win, Rob. And who showed him at the Region 12 championships? Who is the only other person to ever show him <laughs> besides David Boggs? Is that a bonus question? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, Rob, I think it's your turn to pick. Uh, let's go flashback Friday for 100. Okay. Name this national champion mayor. Yeah. Who is Serenity Sambola? Yeah. Yes. Correct. For the win. 
guess I got to hit my button quicker. I know. <laughs> You're still in the lead. Uh, flashback Friday for 200. Name this <laughs> Rob. That looks like Mr. Skip Carpenter. This national champion was boy, it's tiny. Um, Name this national champion Western Pleasure Horse. So full sister to SX Saladin. <laughs> I gave you the answer four days ago. Who's and who's next? We can't go on forever. Yeah. That's it. You're out. I can't remember. Okay. Anybody? Got it. Uh, I gonna go. SX Bent Coba. SX Bent Coba. There you go. Yep. You got it. So I had Michael on that one. That's Bent Coba. It was Bent Coba. Yeah. I don't want to win those eyebrows. <laughs> okay. So flashback Friday for three hundred. All right. Name this national champion stallion. His buzzer's quick as heck. Michael. Who is MS Antana? Yep. For the way. Perfect. Fucking kidding me. Uh, flashback Friday for 400. <laughs> Name this national champion Western Pleasure Horse. You should know this one. That was Sylphon. Who is Sylphon? Yes, correct. Sired by a silver drift. <laughs> Written by Michael Byatt. Flashback. Also, Ray LaCroix's first national champion halter horse. In 1971. Amazing. Flashback Friday for 500. Okay. <laughs> oh, Rob, name Canadian national champion mayor. Yeah, I can't even see it. It's Ray LaCroix. Uh, oh, man. Can't see the horse. Uh, who is Vija? Nope. nope. Who is we? Yeah, that's yes. it. Yes. Fire by Firewind. All right. Out of, we're out of, out of the way for me. I got to get better at this buzzer, damn it. Okay. I'm getting poor. I'm getting it's poor over here. Yet. All right, um, national champions for 300. All right. This horse was the first Egyptian import to become US national champion. He hits his buzzer before the even thing comes up. Who is Assad? Yes, for the win. National champions for 400. <laughs> National champion mayor and national champion stallion in 1973 were? Who is Kimo Sabi and Fire Music? Nice. In for the That win. is genius. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> national champions for 500. <laughs> The only woman to win both the Purebred Open Park and Purebred Open English Pleasure. Who is? Wait, how is Michael getting to go first all the time? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> is he hitting the button before they ask? The second that came up, I hit my button. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing, and he gets it every time. Every time. <laughs> I'm going to get this though. Who is? Who is uh, Jesse Clinton? <laughs> nope. Anybody else? Oh, Rob. Who is Mary Trowbridge? Yes. Come on. Nope. Who is Sheila Berrien? Correct. In for the oh, win. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Uh, Comment and Mikado. Mm. All right. Fact so now, check. Steve, it's your turn. Pick a category. Arabian terms for 400. Okay. Often engaging in gazoo, a form of desert warfare using a quick mounted foray upon their neighbors, the rider's life and wel welfare depended upon this and the speed of his Arabian horse. I'm staying out of that one. 
<laughs> Nobody. Totally. I think you got to at least guess. I thought Gazoo was on um, the no, Flintstones we, we when lose, I was a kid. We lose money if we guess, but I, I, I think it's uh, rating. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in. Next. No, you lost money. No, nope, okay. it does. What is endurance? Oh. All right, Steve, that's you again. We're geniuses. I'll go pedigrees for 400. Okay. <laughs> Who got that? These two stallions are the grandsires of Versace. You got that, Steve. El Shaklan. Bail Bay. Bayshaw. Bayshaw. Yeah. El Shaklan Bayshaw. <laughs> so, how do we deal with that one, Megan? <laughs> we'll give it to him. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I will go, I'm going to go pedigrees $500, Michael Byatt. Don't hit your button so quick. <laughs> this boss son was the sire of three-time U.S. national champion Western Pleasure Mayor Maya Tiffany, and Rob got it. And I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. I do. Last image. Nope. I want to say Mercedes Benz. Nope. Oh. Michael? No. I... Okay. No? Nope. Who is he? My, my T. Well, that's a good question. Who the hell is my T? <laughs> yeah, right? <I'm> aware. <laughs> and who knew he was a Bosque son? Still me? Yep. Yeah. I'll go. I'm down I'll 700. Three. I'll go potpourri for 300. Potpourri for 300. This national champion racehorse went Well, I can't, I, my button wasn't on the phone. Reserve champion stallion in 1972. I know it, I know it, I know it. Who is Contiki? Yes. All right, where are we at? Oh yes, correct. <laughs> now the game's in Michael's hands. Uh, potpourri. I hate that. I hate that. By the way, potpourri. potpourri. <laughs> For how much? A hundred. Okay. Besides its current location of Brandon, Canadian Nationals was also held in these five cities: Vancouver, Toronto, Edmonton, Calgary, Regina. Correct. Awesome. Ding 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Nice. Uh, potpourri for 200. The Queen of Poland. Band who, is, who is Bandola? Oh. Correct. You to that, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only $1,500 in the hole. <laughs> I'm calling for a bailout from the government. We need some horse shows. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, potpourri for 400. Okay. This mare sold for $3 million after being purchased the year before for 1.5 at a Lozma auction. Steve Heathcott. Love potion. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know. Nope. Rob? Who is Gardenia? Yes, correct. Good answer. I'm getting my way out of the hole. Oh, I'm so far in the hole. There's no <laughs> We're running way. out of categories here. <laughs> All right, potpourri for 500. Okay. This Scottsdale champion mare was led to the victory with her handler wearing a gr wearing <gasps> a green members only jacket in 1988. Rob. Now and now my. Now my buzzer works. Are you kidding me? I hit my buzzer Green. like 20 seconds ago. Members only jacket. I don't know. Uh, it's gotta be somebody Mike Neal would lead. Had the most members only jackets. Wrong. Anybody else? Yeah. Who is Keepsake B? 
Yes. In for the win. Look, oh, look at this. Look at this. Got led to the win. The loose line leader. <laughs> All right, Steve. 1600 history for 400 400. history for 400 this was the site of the first u.s nationals in 1958 estes park correct i hit my button like 20 I, seconds ago how do i show you guys this I who won michael <laughs> mujahid correct who is the mayor Sarita. There we got, man. That one's studying. Where's yeah. your cheat sheet? Well, uh, Carolyn's got your cards right in front of you. She's <laughs> outside. <laughs> All right, so uh, Arabian terms for 100. Okay. An unusual pattern that forms on some gray flea bitten horses that is concentrated in one area is. Rob. So what is a bloody shoulder? Correct. You know, this but buzz in button is really messing this game up. I just <laughs> want to say that. Okay, Rob. Okay. Uh, Arabian terms for 200. Okay. I just want to buzz in right now. A birth <laughs> in the form of an indentation believed to bring luck and usually found on the side of a horse's neck. Steve Heathcott. Mark Avala. Correct. Thumb Avala. I think he missed it. It's thumbprint Avala. Let's just check. go with Avala. <laughs> <clears throat> Who can argue with Allah? Well, yeah, Allah is good. I'm going to go Arabian no. terms for 300. Okay. I'm going to buzz in right now so I can beat Michael. This term is used by the Bedouin to describe slight forehead bulge between Wait, the Wait, I, I buzzed in you before you... Got. You no, got it. You I'm going to go jibba. Yeah. What is the jibba? Correct. I'm buzzing in right now because this is getting... <laughs> pedig pedigrees for 300 and I'm buzzing in. Okay. <laughs> By Trifton and out of Arcadia MSC, Miss Stallion was national champion Arabian English Pleasure Futurity in 2002 and reserve national champion Arabian English Pleasure Junior in 2004. Steve? I'm going to say Rob Beck might have played a part in that. I want to go. <sighs> I'm going to miss it. Trident? Trinidad. Wrong. Anybody else, Rob? Okay, who is D.A. Trinidad? Correct. In for the win. Rob Bick was in the irons. Arabian terms for 500. Kuhalan and Sigwali are examples of what? Brains uh, of Arabian. Brains of bloodlines. Oh, he buzzed in? Bob is on it, okay. What are strains of bloodlines? Yeah. Correct. I'm not out of the hole yet, guys, and there's only 300 bucks left. I'm gonna have to take out a loan just to go in the final Jeopardy. All right, this one's double Jeopardy, so it's double the points. Oh. This day was given a special name to honor the historic event in Scottsdale in 1980 when Muscat was named champion stallion and Priston named champion mayor. Steve Did I Heath. buzz in first, I hope? Yes. Russian Revolution? Uh, not, no. not exactly. Definitely was Russian. Anybody else? I think I need a white Russian. <laughs> Michael? Uh, I'm out. Okay. What is Russian Sunday? No kidding. 
Um, are you are you going to tell us where everybody stands so we know what we want to wage? Um, Michael, you've got twelve hundred. Steve, you have seven hundred, and Rob, you are seven hundred in the hole. So I have to take out a loan. Essentially, yes. I sent in for my PPP <laughs> bail or money for should be here. It's supposed to be here last week, right? Okay. okay, so we've now, now entered the final we, jeopardy. We type in our wage now. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will write down or enter your bet up to the total amount of your points of points. I will then read the question and you must write down your answer. You will have 20 seconds to write down your answer before they will be revealed. And so, what are the amounts everybody has? Uh, not with Steve has 700. Steve has 700. I have 1200. Where's Steve going? Steve to the bank. Left. He's in oh, the maybe he's getting paper. Steve has 700. I have 1200. I had to get a pencil. You're the last one to submit, Michael. Are, no, are, we, are we writing these? or You said we were. In your, in your phone. OK. All right, here we go. Hey, ready? The question is, these two sisters were named U.S. National Champion, I got it. Champion Mayor in 1962. I got it. Okay, so we'll reveal everyone's answers. But obviously we don't show our answers till everybody else does, right? Oh, mine has I want, a typo. I don't want Rob Bitt copying off me. Mine has a typo. Mine's in. Well. Can I write down who the stallion, who the sire and the dam were for extra points? It's Sarah Fix. We all know it, but I just. <laughs> yes, but we did take that out of the question. It, it is Sarah Fix. <laughs> I can't remember the freaking reserve. It's who won, the, who won the studs that year? <laughs> I'm gonna say Bayabi. Bayabi. Okay. okay, if there's a typo, I, I mean I'm gonna just that's okay. Mine has a typo too. All right, Robin, Steve, I need you to hit submit on your answers. I'm sorry. Oh, you just I hit thought I did. On your yep, Steve, you're the last one. Wait, I already bid though, right? I just got to show you my answer. You got to hit submit on your phone on the answer. Oh, let me get my phone back. Uh, submit answer. Oh, you want me to type it on my phone? I thought you wanted me to write it down. Okay. Anybody having fun yet? <laughs> yeah, and that's what I. I really about. needed those eyebrows, Michael. I have no eyebrows, and now I have no chance of getting any. And I can't even go buy any. I'm so poor. I'll I'll give them to you, brother. All right, you're a good man. While we're waiting. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, I'm done. All right, we're going to reveal left to right. So, Michael, we're going to start with yours. Chloe is the mother of Chloe. Uh, incorrect. Okay. How much did you lose? Five dollars. You're such a chicken. All right, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it. That's correct. And Rob. I had a typo. Yeah. Fix it. <laughs> so what do you do when you get a tie? Uh, well, it's going to depend on what they all bet. So 
I could only, I couldn't bet anything. Steve, Ooh. you are our winner. Well, I, I hope whoever bid on me donates some money to APHA. This was just all fun for me, so. He Go, wins. Steve, with your gamble there, brother. That was the gamble that oh, saved you. Yeah, it paid off. Well, I would have lost because I didn't know the damn reserve. All right, it was fun. When I first saw the question, I was thinking Bosque melody and fire music, but then the same year kind of threw me off. The 60 thing, you know, because mm -hmm. that was. Well, stay safe, everybody. That was right, thank, right. Thanks. Thank you, guys. I respect both of you guys to the moon. Ditto back. Ditto, everybody. We'll have to try it again. Thank you guys. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Bye.